Good afternoon, I'm Kathleen Pate at My Alabama Farm Life, and today I'm gonna to put together two feeders and two waterers for my chickens. I ordered this six piece chicken feeder and poultry waterer off of Amazon. The uh, brand is Lancery, and when I went back to check on the item, it's no longer available, but there are other similar things that you can order. But this cost me $29.99. But one of the things that I really appreciated about this kit was that it came with the tools that I was going to need to um, install these, these items to the five gallon bucket that I'm going to use. So as I'm taking these out, you can see that I have the 3.1 inch hole saw, and then I have the drill bit that I'm going to use. Now these are supposed to be no waste, rodent proof, rain proof, weather resistant, and you can use them on buckets, barrels, bins, and troughs. And it came with the gaskets, and this is basically just a screw-on setup. And these lids, you use them to cover the holes when the feeders are not in use. However, when you're using them, they're very inconvenient, I have found. So now it's time to pull out my Ryobi drill and get this build started. The instructions suggest that you want your feeders about eight to 10 inches off the ground. I measured one of my cinder blocks and it's about eight inches. So I wanted to have the hole be about 10 inches off the ground. So I went ahead and measured at four and a half inches as my center marked it. And now we're going to make that hole. I quickly learned that I needed to keep a nice hold on that drill when I was drilling these holes because I did lose control. I did not hurt myself, however I did knock my camera and everything off the table. So be cautious. So this actually is very simple. Once the hole was made, I'm just going to go ahead and put this gasket on. This is going to help keep the water out and then I'm just going to slide it from the inside through the hole on the outside and screw the ring on as tightly as possible. It was a little tough, but with a little uh, elbow grease, I managed to get it on just fine. And here's a good tip, because I did not do this, but when you're drilling, go ahead and drill both those holes at the same time. So there you go, this is from the inside, and I just pull it through. I want those little tops on the top side, and then you're just going to screw that ring on and you're done. I probably need to raise the feeder for the hens up a little higher, but the uh, chicks, the little chicks, their feeder is the perfect height and they just went right in there and haven't had any problems using the new feeders. Now it's time to make these waters. I'm gonna make two, I'm gonna put three of these they're called horizontal side chicken nipples. So like I said, I'm gonna put three on each bucket. Now, not all five gallon buckets are created equally, but it has been my experience that most of them have a lip. So I'm gonna give myself at least an inch. I'm gonna go up another inch and I'm gonna mark my buckets at two inches and that is where I'm gonna install the water nipples. I've decided to go ahead and use like a triangle configuration. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of eyeball it and mark three spots. And once I'm done, I'm gonna pull out the drill and I'm going to go ahead and drill the three holes that I'll need.
point my holes are drilled so I'm going to go ahead and make sure these fit and they should just screw right in with a little pressure and they do. All right, I'm going to use a little silicone. These did not come with anything to help um, with sealing. So I'm going to just go ahead and use a little dab of silicone. And once it dried, I should have some pretty good waterproofing on these water nipples. The first water nipple went on pretty easily and what I'm going to do is just do the same thing two more times and it's done. This silicone has like a 10 minute drying period but I'm going to probably give it a little bit more time than that. I want to make sure that these things don't leak. It looks like there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve with my chickens. The little chicks seem to go right for it. They did almost the same with the food. Once they discovered it was there, they started, you know, they went right into it. Whereas the hens, they seem to have gotten used to eating off the ground and for foraging. And then I also have their water bucket out there. I hate leaving that water bucket out there because it gets so dirty. So I'm hoping that they, they really start using those water nipples. Um, the water stays cleaner, I've got my vitamins in there, and um, I can keep up with it a lot easier. On one of my next videos, I'm going to discuss how I changed up my chicken's routines and how it caused an issue. I didn't think about it, um, totally unaware until I got injured. Wasn't thinking about what I was doing, and my rooster, because I have changed the routine and how we do things, my rooster got me and uh, he scratched me here and on my knuckle. And uh, my hand is pretty swollen. It's been this way for three days now. Um, but that's gonna be a discussion on another video. I'm gonna have that discussion on the video where I do a review on the items that I purchased to create um, the feeders and the waters. There were some issues that I had with them, but I'm gonna do that on another video. This video is long enough. I also want to ask everybody to go to my community page. I have been finding some really great um, contributors to YouTube creators, and um, I'm going to go ahead and start posting these new channels that I find and hopefully helping giving them a little boost. So if you guys would go ahead and go to my community page, that would be great. And um, I'm going to go ahead and call this the end of this video. I usually don't make, sorry, Shelly. I usually don't make videos this long, but um, yeah, it just ended up that way. So you guys have a great day, and thank you for all your support. I'll see you on the next video.